lot of Americans should go there and see how they do it. It's a little, it's a little far for some people, a little oh, yeah. pricey for some people. But you guys have been doing this for a long time. I keep on saying that, but I mean, you've you've, you've traveled the world. You've seen places. Japan is your place. I love it. Yeah, I mean, it's yours? great there. I mean, the fans are awesome. They really, really dig the band and. It's just nice to be there. It's a, it's a whole different vibe. And you've gone through several different political, U.S. political changes. What is it like now? You're 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 traveling. You're you're going to be going overseas. You know, it's a, it's, uh, it's a, whether you like uh, Donald Trump or whether you don't yet. like Donald Trump. What's I mean? What are you feeling? What's the temperature now? And as a band, an American band, having to go out there. What is it like to deal with that? Kind of changes every day at this point. I really? Know, you know, I mean, your guess is as good as ours at this just, point. Yeah, I mean, we're, it seems to be okay. We're in the same predicament as everyone else. We just don't know what's real and what isn't real, and what's true and what's false, what's fake and what's real. So, do you have people from other countries when when you're when you're touring? Are, you know, are they expressing concern? You do do you talk about that with them when you do the signings? You know, when you have your your you know meet and greets. Do they express anything? Occasionally, you know, people ask us. I mean, some people like to engage more than others. Even guys in the band, everybody has their own take. Is that something that you get into? You said engage. Mm -hmm. You said engage. Kill switch. Oh. <laughs> well, that's oh, yeah, it. Engage. You. See, you like that? See how it works? It's very sweet. It's very like, synergy. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to get political at times, you know. Just kind of do your own thing and view it on your own, you know. I feel like these days, though, people, no matter who you are, even if you're not, even if you don't vote, you, you get political because it's become so, it, it's so salient. It's it's just something that's on the topic of everybody's, you know, mind. You're on Facebook. It's like you're, you're inundated with that. Twitter. It's just, it, politics is everything at this point. It just depends on the individual, I guess. You know, again, everybody's different about it. How outspoken they may be, you know. Do you ever... I mean, do you have political leanings? Do you oh, go well, one way I, or the other? You know, I pay attention and everything, you know. It's, it's not a lot we can do, you know. We were, everybody voted. And, uh, that sounds like you're not very happy with the situation. Well, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's all right. I mean, listen. It? What you say? What? It's quite different. No. <laughs> it is. It's quite different. I don't touch this. Really? Yeah. That's really. I've seen many times that people refer to musicians as just shut up and play. You know, you're not allowed to have an opinion on it. Do you agree with that? Nope, but I choose not to say anything about Why, it. Why though? I mean, like we, again, I don't mean to keep on harboring, like you know, that you're, you guys have been around. But you, Why? I mean, because you're, you're there's, there's a lot of ignorant people out there. They don't, they don't. If they don't like what they're hearing, they will just fucking bash you and attack you for your. Yeah, who needs to get in? Who needs it? Stuff. But you got. I mean, anybody in the public eye, though, when you're on social media, you're going to get attacked no matter what. I mean, you guys are probably used to it. I'm used to it, and I'm nothing even close to you on the level of celebrity, but you, just, you sit there and you just go, Ugh. Politics gets a bit, a bit heated, you know. What to say and what, what to say. Uh, I mean, we put our views on music styles and, you know, that kind of stuff and whatever. You, just seem, you guys seem like the guys of the, the kind of, when you'd be like, you know what, fuck off, whatever. This is the way I feel. I've been, you know, we I can. do what I do, I say what I say, and I'm, I'm not trying to encourage you to say something that, you, that you're not comfortable with. I'm just saying, it just, it, I mean, of anybody, you guys are the spokespeople for metal, I, mm, I think. Uh, huh. I don't know. Nothing yeah. like that. I just, I don't, I don't feel that I'm way. all for America. That's what yeah, I, right. <laughs> you know. So diplomatic. Maybe I should have you as ambassadors. Um, are you uncomfortable with this conversation? Not, we're not on trial, right? <laughs> well, actually, today you. Are. <laughs> we're just um, musicians. That's yeah. Right. Well, don't don't say that because you guys, you know, you're intelligent people and you have opinions, and I I, I get it right, though. It gets, it gets tiring after a while. You're you just like I don't be, want to deal with the drama. You can be very intelligent, but then you're dealing with okay, idiots at times. Yeah. So it's not it's not worth it. We, yes, we make music, time, so that's though. that's what we talk about. What drives me crazy is when you know you, you sit there and you want to have an intelligent conversation, just a discussion, even if you don't agree with somebody's you know politics or, or social whatever it is, and you it's still it's it seems especially today, especially these days in the U.S., it seems like it's still no matter what gets drawn down into this morass of just anger and you know blame and everything. It's like what can we just not respect? You, you, you know, you may believe in abortion. I don't believe in abortion. You may, you know, believe in gay marriage. I don't. Whatever it is, it just seems like it. Li can we just respect and listen to each other? And it's just not that way anymore. Nobody can. Nobody. Nobody is able to ha just have a conversation. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's insulting each other. Right. I feel like it's social media that does that, frankly. Exactly. 
Tell her to watch Bill Maher and just relax. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, speaking of Bill Maher, um, anything to say about what's been going on with, with Fox News or any of the... I don't watch Fox News, so I couldn't tell you what's going on with them. Um, There's enough going on. You can read about it. Yes, yes you can. Enough, right? <laughs> yes, you can. It's just one-sided, that. Yeah. Fox News is, is basically the Republican side of things, and then you have other things like MSNBC and stuff like that. That's more the other side of things, and that's it. And people, I mean, believe me, sometimes I'm sitting in my hotel room and I'll have something on CNN, and it's just a constant barrage of the same old thing, and then they'll bring someone else's face in, and they'll talk about it, and then they'll put someone else, and they'll talk about it, and at the end of the day, like, is this? Do you guys have one particular place that you actually trust as far as news dissemination goes? <laughs> you can I don't just know. Just whisper it. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, what, what can I mean, it's a lot of opinions. Blogandcrossbones.com. We're going to... It's a lot of opinions. Nobody's really kind of fact-checking some of these people either. Hey, yeah, listen. <laughs> don't I know? I know. Well, well, we know that. We know that they've been caught in so many different things that it's kind of it's, it's kind of become what I call skits now. Uh, just um, the whole thing yesterday, I caught this glimpse, uh, this clip of uh, a thing about the wall, and, and uh, I forget who was saying, it's like, well, that's not a wall, that's a fence. <laughs> and then he was contradicting him and saying, no, that is a part of the wall. And he's like, no, that's a fence. <laughs> and I was like, this is a skit. It's like, who's on first? Yeah. And that's what a lot of it's become. I mean, people just goof on it now that it's just become hysterical. Yeah, our photographer is going to be moving to where are you going? Thailand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's getting a little unnerving. Well, you guys, thank you so much. And this is your this is it for for uh, the states, right? You're heading out to oh, for now. We're going to Japan. Japan. Yep. For now, we got yeah. uh, South America, or no, we got Europe come up. Yeah, we'll do it for you. It's good to see you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Go America. Go America. Yeah. We love America. <laughs> Yay. Um, Yay. No, just, it's funny that we, so real quick, so I, I actually, I met you at Rock and Derby briefly, talked to you at Rock and, Rock and Derby. Um, I launched a website called blondeandcrossbones.com. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to further expose rock and metal to mainstream audiences. I worked at Fox News and Fox, you know, television for years and years and years, blah, blah, blah. So I want to kind of just bring you guys a little bit more into the mainstream, even though you're, you guys are legends, obviously. I just, <laughs> well, I mean, you are the, the, the holy quad. I learned something today. We're, we're legends. <laughs> um, are you sick of hearing that? No. No. <laughs> just seems weird, right? It makes us feel old. Really? Yeah, right? Oh, please. Come on. Well, you know, what, what constitutes a, a legend? You, you guys were you legends in, in, I think, 1995 when I saw you at the House of Blues in, in Hollywood. You guys were legends at that point. And it's it's not an age thing. It's just, it's just you know when you make a mark on music, it's it's going to be there forever. Oh, I understand that too. Yeah, like the imitators who come after you, who you influence. Yeah. Who, do you, who, who are those people? <laughs> Can you oh, say? No, 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 no. I mean, there are here a lot of bands just, that have just a, lot happens, of, yeah, right? a lot of our style in their style, which is cool. What are, like the bands today? Who who do you like? I mean, obviously you like Kill Switch Engage because you're on tour with them. Oh, yeah, good guys. Yeah, we're, we're all <laughs> friends and everybody. You know. Is it is there is there a thing where bands that have been around a, a while and bands that are you know established they they sort of poach these like the new bands or, or you know the up and coming bands and they and they say you guys are going to be with us we're going to kind of bring you along with us and try to let you sort of. Actually, it was the opposite. They said that to us. <laughs> Come on, you want to do this together? Yeah, yeah, let's do it together. So we did it. I thought it was actually interesting that you said that this is, I don't know who coined this term, but it's the, the Kill Thrax tour. I, actually, I, I, I'm not going to say, oh, I did it, but I was on the phone with Mike, and he's like, you want to do this Kill Switch thing? I mean, you mean like a Kill Thrax thing? Kill Thrax, yeah. That's a good Thrax. idea. But I'm not saying I did that. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to come up with something cool tour themes or whatever. But also an established band like you, I mean, that that's kind of a huge compliment to the band that you're that you're going to be traveling oh, cool. with, to say, like, you, you again, the holy quad, I mean, your, your anthrax, oh. you say, Killswitch Engage, yes, you may join us and you're, you're part of our, 
No, it's true. I mean, you guys are very we're humble, co obviously. But we're co headlining together, so we're not really. Mm -hmm. They have a good following. rank and a huge following. They do. They, yeah, no. Like the younger kids, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There is a different crowd out there quite a bit. Now, when you guys are going to be.